Hey everybody, y'all, everybody is wanting ATC cards, and I thought I would bring you a couple ATC cards and show you how I'm putting mine together. And these are going to go in my book, and as I decide who I want to send what to, I will do that for challenges or whatever. But I just want to bring it to you and show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, I've got my ATC card. Now, this is a piece of three and a half by two and a half cut out. And y'all know how to do that. I've uh, already put up a video on it. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my glue and just run me a little bit of glue here. And put them together. Let me get that tape out because I might do this. And I'm just going to show you one real quick how I design mine. And then you can take it from there. Okay. Okay, I got that one pretty much, I think, evened up. Okay, I'm going to work on the side. So I take my roller, this. And I press it. That spreads the glue out, gets it into all the corners, and that way you've got a beautiful surface to work on. All right, that's all there is to that. Now, this I'm not putting trims on it. I'm going to use several different types of cutouts I have done. I want to, uh, I'm going to kind of look at it, see how I want it to go, and decide from there exactly what I'm doing. Let me uh, pull one of these out. Okay, I have done all these cutouts on my machine and this gives me a great little stack to work with and as I said, you can work with stickers, you can work with anything. Okay, I'm going to put, let's see, hang on a minute, let's do this one first. I want this one in the background. Okay, so I'm going to come right here. I have measured it and trim it out. Now, don't throw your little bits away because you can cut those out and still have pieces of leaves. Okay, but I'm going to take these and, let's see. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue as you can see how I'm doing this. This fine tip glue will help you with the little metal tip. Get it right where you want it without going all over the place. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to place this. Let's see. I want this one to come about like that. So I'm going to place it just like that. This one is going to be over the top. And I kind of want it to run down to where this tip is. If you can see that. So right there is where I'm going to trim that one and save it. You might need a little piece of leaf or something like that. Okay, I'm going to bring this back up so you can see a little bit better. Okay, I'm just going to do the same thing again. Run my glue over edges and pieces that way. You won't have to worry about anything coming up. And you don't have to glue every little piece, but as long as you hit a major piece, with what you're gluing, it will work. Let's see, there and there. Okay, so. There we go. I got all that glued. Okay, so. Let me take it, get my finger. And I want this one to lay right on top of that one. That's how it looks so far. All right, now I've got several things I can choose from here, but uh, I don't want to do flower flowers on it. Let's do these. Let's see. I don't want that one. That won't show up. Let's do just a cute little flower. Let's see, I can bring this up, put my hello down here. Okay, this is just a flower design I have cut out. I'm going to do it like it is just perched right there. 
this is the skeleton. And all I'm going to do on the skeleton is cut it, or glue it rather, and put it right there on top. That is adorable. Okay, you see how that looks. And see, it's so cute and it's flat as a flitter, so you don't have to worry about none of it. All right, um, let's see. I want to come in with a leaf. And y'all, you dyes can work so many different ways. These are how the leaves come out. I take them and cut them apart. I just make three clips, they're cut apart, and then I can use them how I want to. Let's see, I'm going to go right there under that flower and pop that one up. And let's see. Tell you what, since we got the polka dotted leaf, oops, let me drop that. Let's go right here. Put it kind of a little sideways. It is as simple as that. I cut my paper out of pearlescent paper. So this is how it looks. And I think that is slap adorable. Like I said, you know, it's very simple, very clean. Everybody knows this is clean. But, you know, now you can write your information on the back. You got a gorgeous card to send somebody and something that not everybody is doing. And like on this one right here, if I want to add a little more, shoot and I might want to. I'll come back in here. Kind of look at it. See if you've got a spot where you think something else needs to do. And what I'm going to do is put that green leaf right under that hello on the edge. But that's all there is to it. That's it. You can uh, create beautiful cards just by playing around a little bit whether it be stickers or cutouts or whatever else you want to use so um there's one so let's put that to the side and let it dry and let me show you one more quick one and then i'll let y'all go this is strictly for inspiration like i said you know i uh i love bringing crafts to you that I think are wonderful crafts that kind of showing especially new crafters how simple they are okay I'm going to line up my two pieces of cardstock kind of make sure those are fitted together where is my runner there it is okay I'm going to run it and as far as glue, this is a um, silicone baking mat. I could not find, at that time I was looking for one, a silicone uh, crafting mat. So I went and got a baking mat. And guess what? It works the same. It's cheaper. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper if it does not have the word craft in it. Alright. This. Oh, I think that is pretty. Let's see if we can fit it on here. Let's see. How would this work? Oh yeah, I can do this from the back. This is just going to be very, very simple. And I'm going to glue the high spots. Take and just kind of tap out on the little rounds. What you're doing. Don't think nothing is ever. When you use this kind of glue, of course, it's going to dry clear. So you ain't got to worry about, oh my goodness, is it going to show? Because no, it's not. And that way, you can get every little piece glued down. Alright. Let's see. Can I put, yeah, I put it on there. Okay, let's see here. Okay. I'm going to leave just that little bitty 
piece. Sticking up over top because in the top of the book it won't hurt. If it bothers you for aesthetic reasons, cut it off. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. And since this is very clean, I'm just going to, um, let's see, let's add a few loops in here. Okay. I'm going under the flowers I just glued. Let's see, did this one. <laughs> this is going to give it just a hair more color. And then if you lifted it up and just go back and re glue it, it's not going to hurt a thing. Just re glue it. Put it back down. So now I've got my leaves. And then, let's on this one do a really fresh hello. I'm going to come in here and see. I love the flowers there, so let's kind of put this one more toward the bottom. And I love silver. Like I said, all these cutouts are done in pearlescence, so the card will have some little bit of shine to it. And this, y'all see me do my other ones. This, like I said, is more of a clean, a very clean crafting card. And that's all there is to it. It's that simple, that easy. You have got just everything where it should be. It will fit in the card. And like I said, if you're never sure about that, that is no big difference. Take it, clip it off. Off the edge. It does not take away from the characteristics of the card. So you got two cards, just a little bit different, but both of them very clean and very cute to go in your stash. And when you need ATC card, write your stuff on the back. You've got them ready to go. All right, that's it. I hope everybody gets some um, just inspiration on this. Like I said, this is this is stuff I love in. Uh, I think all y'all know that, but I've got several things cut out here to make uh, some different projects. I want to make some cards to go back with ATC cards, so that is all I'm doing today. That is it. Just have fun with it. Like I said, there is no right or wrong. I'm just showing you ways you can do it, ways you can cut these things and make them your own. All right, I'm going to get to work here and do a little more. And I hope y'all have a beautiful, blessed Saturday. Have a good day, babies. Bye, loves.